going on guys? My name is David and I am so excited to bring you guys a brand new Lego Ninjago video and today I am joined by the one, the only, the mega... Hey guys! This is Lego Ninjago fan. If you guys are not familiar with his channel, he is almost on the brink of 8,000 subscribers. So if you guys would head over to his channel, a link will be down in the description below. Uh, please bring this guy to 8,000 uh, subscribers. He has amazing Ninjago content. And uh, so yeah. Uh, and we actually do have a theory that we are going to discuss in today's video. Now the... Uh, image that you guys see here is courtesy of the Pinoy Toy Geek uh, YouTube channel. He did have customs of these figures, and so I decided that it has, you know, some kind of uh, reflections with the topic that we're going to be discussing today. And uh, and that is the uh, Villain Realms in Season 7. If you guys do not know, on each and every villain weapon that we have seen for the images of the sets, we do have some kind of green crystal, and it's a translucent lime green crystal. And um, all the weapons, like the blades and all that stuff, they are also translucent green, lime green. And so, you know, there's obviously a connection between that. And, you know, me and uh, LEGO Ninjago fan were indeed thinking that possibly the reason why all of these villains would return is because there is a special dedicated realm for them. And so, what do you think about that? So, um, I, I really agree with this. Like, it would be really cool just after the ninja defeat the villains, um, they just go to the certain realm, and, like, they get free from it, I guess, um, because maybe the maybe Yang grabs the realm crystal, because I think he has somewhat to do with bringing them back. I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm guessing. So they're all in this little dimension, and they get brought back in the season by that little crystal. Yeah. So it's like it's kind of interesting to think about, guys, because if you guys like it, just the actual idea of season seven, it's so crazy because we have such a compilation of villains that we really haven't seen before i mean we have seen before but like we haven't seen all of them combined in one full force you know against the ninja and it's just so crazy to think that some of our favorite villains except the overlord of course are going to return in season seven and it's just mind-boggling to me and i just think that there has to be one common thing for their return and i believe that you know they did return from a special dedicated realm just for villains who were outcasts from ninjago obviously there is you know the underworld for the skeleton so um i guess they came from there but you know there are a bunch of other villains like the stone army for example obviously there's like that one big guy in the cryptarian prison but all the other warriors where did they go we don't know where they went at all and so I'm just thinking that there is some kind of, like, special dedicated realm that uh, all these villains come from. Yeah, uh, like, the Overlord, I think he doesn't return mostly because of his defeat, and he's like a spirit, so he can't end up in the realm, but, like, Klaus is the only one that seemed to escape, so it makes no sense that Master Chen returned, and so I think that Master Chen ends up in this realm, and so it's, ha and so since, and... He never stated he escaped the cursed realm, so maybe Klaus could have also escaped this realm. And since they were must have only thought he'd escaped the cursed realm. Yeah, guys. So honestly, I have to say that it's a pretty interesting theory and a pretty interesting concept to uh, kind of think about. And uh, tell us what you guys think down in the comment section below about this theory. And a huge thanks to Evan Agin for telling me about this theory. And I really do think that this has the potential of actually becoming true in Season 7. So thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like if you guys want me to record more videos with LEGO Ninjago Fan. And I will catch you all in my next LEGO Ninjago video coming to you guys very, very soon. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. <laughs>